internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. You got your sound turned up? Ah. And I'm here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I've got somebody from over on the west side, and her name is Yolanda. You there? I am here. Yay! How's the weather out there? Uh, foggy. Foggy. <laughs> we got it. It's really sunny right here, but it's windy as heck right now. I guess that March comes in and goes out like a lamb and all that kind of stuff, so it's blowing all over crazy over here. But it's not I'm snowing. On that. No snow. That's good. So, how long have you lived there? On and off for thirty-two years. Okay. You know, a lot of the people I've been interviewing, they've been where they're at for a long time. That's kind of cool. Kind of mm -hmm. like I've been living in here in Minneapolis for. Well, I stayed in the same house for fifty-three years, and then I met my wife, and we moved to the West Side, and then we moved to Asheville, North Carolina, for. A couple of years. Other than that, I did spend a couple of years out in California, but been here most of my life. So you've been there for twenty years. Um, thirty. Thirty. Thirty-three. 30. On 30. and off. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you you married? You got kids? You single? You don't have kids? What's single? No kids. That because you're all about business, right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good segue into the next uh, question. Then is what is you do? What do you what do you do for business? Well, I am a public speaker, and I host virtual success seminars. Virtual, so you mean online kind of virtual success? Online, so people can access them from around the world, as opposed to having everybody try to fly to one spot. Right. That's the cool thing about the internet. When I do these interviews, I've interviewed people way over in Bali, Indonesia, and Thailand, and the UK, and South America. Absolutely. It's fascinating how we've... Uh, and. The, the ability to communicate like this, you're way over in California. We're in real time being able to do this. It's, the Internet is fascinating for that. So, so you do like seminars and things online? Well, mostly we pick a topic. Uh, the first one I did was, which will be coming back around, was for women in business. Mm -hmm. And so we picked different people who spoke on starting a business, all aspects of it. And we had speakers from seven... Actually, six continents all tuned in, and people from around the world could tune in and listen to them. The next one coming up will be about inspirational women in literature, which will be on March 18th. And again, we've got people only this time from two continents, no, three continents. Well, technically two, because I guess Canada is part of the North America. <laughs> so two continents. There is a border, though, and Trump's going to build a wall. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> So coming from different continents, that's got to be interesting in that business is different in different continents. You know, the whole Absolutely. thing, uh, the, the Japanese, the people in America, you know, here's my card, and they just put it in the pocket. The Japanese, they look at it, and they, they really respect it, and it's, it's a different uh, um, culture. Right. So you must right. have a lot of that. I remember someone told a story about the, the Chevy Nova in, in Mexico. It never worked because the word in Spanish means not go. <laughs> that was a bad choice of car name, huh? <laughs> well, you know. Something like that. Maybe it's just a story. My wife speaks Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. So do, do you do speak Spanish? She and you don't speak Spanish. Shame well, on you. Well, she is a Spanish teacher at the University of Minnesota. I I don't I don't do languages very good. She's this right now. She's a shaman and a coach. She helps people with uh, their businesses through spiritual practice. Nice. Very cool. But. Where was I? Oh, yeah. What do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. What? So basically, that's it. I basically I interview people. I get down to the nitty gritty of what it is they do and how they help other people. And I offer them a place to promote. And when I'm not doing those, I, I do a uh, TV radio show in which I do the exact same thing. Half of the show was about promoting books. And then the other half of the show was about money, money management. 
Money is always an interesting topic to me because I know people get sensitive about it, but really all it is is just a measuring device of your energy. You know what I mean? Pretty much. You put stuff out, you get compensated, and people are like, oh, I can't, they can't really pay that much. I'm not worth it. But you got to turn exactly. that thinking around, don't you? <laughs> it's, it's basically that. It's basically how you feel about money, and that pretty much dictates how you spend or how you earn. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So do you do anything uh, like live events, like uh, at on-site, on-location kind of thing? We will be doing one next year uh, coming up called the 5050 Cruise, and that also is a, it's for authors and business people, and that will actually take place on a cruise ship. Cool. So that is a live site. So what what is, the, you got a captive audience there, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, they can't go anywhere. <laughs> what, what's the 5050 part? Well, the 50-50 is 50% for business, 50% for authors, how to start and grow your business from the ground up. Okay, cool. And there are workshops being presented on six days, basically while we're out at sea. And each day there'll be a different person presenting workshops for a couple of hours, and then we let you go have fun on the ship. That's so cool. Um, I love stuff like that where you get out of your normal environment, you get into a whole nother place like retreats and stuff. It makes you think totally different when you're mm -hmm. in a different space. So if someone's interested in something like that, and this is one of my questions before my favorite question, and uh, that okay. is how do they get a hold of you to get involved with your, get on, get on your shows and maybe take this cruise? Okay, they can get a hold of me at my website, which is iolandaargentcoaching.com. So that's I-O-L-A-N-D-E-A-R-G-E-N-T coaching.com. I will put that in the YouTube video as a link so they can yeah. just click it instead of spelling it. <laughs> It'll be so much easier, yes. <laughs> I understand. So here's my favorite question, then we can be done, and I'll propagate this up to the universe and let it uh, go out and do its thing. Um, why? Why do you do this? Why aren't you like a jazz singer or a, a yoga instructor or a, an actor out in Hollywood? Why are you doing this? That's funny you should say that. Actually, I do help actors find casting. Uh, I do do film. That'll be coming up in the summer. So when I'm not doing this, I do work in the entertainment industry. Okay. <laughs> I do this for fun, actually. Oh, so that's why you do it, just for fun. <laughs> okay. Well, it is fun. I have a good time doing these interviews. I get to meet people. For, there's a guy out in New York. He's a yoga and meditation instructor. He calls himself the Orange Cowboy. And it's bizarre because he's kind of guru-like, but he wears a big orange cowboy hat and wears orange shirts all the time. So that's his brand. And you, you meet some very interesting people. There's some you other do. people out in L.A. that were uh, a little bit talking about aliens and all sorts of we get that. All, all sorts of people. <laughs> Pretty much. Especially if you've written a book, then they'll probably end up on my show. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll keep a look, look out for that. There's authors everywhere. Well, Absolutely. I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe. I'm going to, like I said, beam this up to YouTube and propagate it out on blogs and social media. And uh, perhaps we'll do another one sometime down the road and maybe a, an, a live event from your cruise or something like that. That would be great. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Okay. Thanks again for taking the time. Be well. Thanks. Thank you. Peace. Bye-bye.